Hi there. Today we are going to see how you can use Senovet Plus to deploy Forgerock access management on an AWS instance in just a few minutes. So to get started, you will first need to create an account in Senovet Plus which you can do by heading to console.plus.senovet.com slash register and after the registration and sign in process is complete, you can navigate to the Forgerock tab and look at our offering for Forgerock. So it is an automation offering where you can deploy this server in just a few minutes on AWS. So we'll get started by clicking on this button, deploy Forgerock on AWS and here it tells you a few features that are available with this. So you can build multiple test environments for Forgerock AM server on your own AWS infrastructure and you can have full control over that. You can create the stack, delete it and use it as you like. You can also here opt in for Senovate's managed security services where our team of IAM experts will help you build proof of concepts and help you in using Forgerock AM server for your custom use cases and build and help you architect the solution. So in this case, let's just opt in for that and click on deploy on AWS. And here you see three steps that you have to go through in order to deploy this Forgerock AM server. The first step is very simple. It's just documentation about how and what are the steps you have to follow. But if you're watching this video, you can just follow this video and you'll be good to go. So getting started, we'll just click on proceed. And here you have to download a key pair to access your server using SSH. And to remotely access this, you just have to click on the download key pair and the private key will be downloaded to your machine. And I'll just save this. And now you're into your third step. If you are in case stuck in how do you use this key and access the server, just click on view documentation and you have all the steps here on how to access Forgerock AM server. I'll just click and proceed from here and move to the third step where I can select my preferred AWS region and confirm on the instance type. Currently we are recommending t3.medium as our instance type for better performance but you can still choose between your preferred region based on your uh, locality. I'll still stick to US East North Virginia and click on provision Forgerock AM server. Here I'm prompted that I'll be redirected to the AWS console. So uh, an information given here is to please log in before. If you're using single sign on to access your AWS console, please log in before. And if you are otherwise, you are good to go. Just click on the have downloaded the SSH key button to confirm that your SSH key is downloaded and in place and click on proceed. After this, you will be navigated to the cloud formation page where you can create the stack and all of the steps and process is done automatically for you. I'll just move here and click the create stack button and here I can look at the events and the process on how things are going. We will be creating an AWS instance, which you can look at in the resources tab. Initially, we are creating an instance security group and the status of that is complete. And in a few seconds, you'll also see the EC2 instance being deployed. So now, as you can see, the folder of EC2 instance is in progress and the re resource creation has been initiated. To navigate to the Forgerock EC2 instance on how you can access this, just click on the physical ID of the Forgerock EC2 instance and you will then be redirected to the EC2 management console. So this console will have all your information about the Forgerock instance and currently if you click on the instance ID, you will find all the information about this instance. What we need from this is the public IPv4 DNS address which you can see here. We will just copy this uh, IPv4 instance and access the server using the HTTP protocol. I just click on enter here and you can see the Forgerock AM server configuration screen is now available for us. We'll just wait and configure our server from here on you can choose between the default configuration and the custom configuration for your Forgerock AM server. Let's proceed with the default configuration. So 
do that I just click here and accept the agreement and continue I'll set the default password for this machine default user as you it prompts is am admin so i just click on create configuration and then i think in a few minutes we'll have the forge rock am instance available for us for testing and development purposes as now our configuration is complete let's just proceed to login Click on this button and we are navigated to our login page and I will use my default username password and log in. And here is my Forgerock M admin dashboard. So now I am signed as an admin and I can now configure authentication and set up servers for my Forgerock M instance for development testing.